Good morning. It is another day of working in the shop, and we are working on Dory the Deja Vu Blue. You nailed it that time. I'm nailing Good it. Job. All right, so we've already established we're on the right track with some improvements for durability. This week, we're just gonna keep on choo-choo right down that track. We're we gonna move on to the bottom? Yes. We're still waiting on the axles from Dynatrack, so we're gonna be just working on what we can work on, which happens to be cross members. So, what we've gotta do is we've gotta measure the banana and copy it. Okay, that's what we've been doing Don't this there, whole time. There's yeah, some pretty freedom. simple. <laughs> there's a little bit of wiggle room, freedom of expression. I don't want the parts to be interchangeable because I don't want Robbie coming down here and stealing my parts. Oh. Good plan, huh? Good yeah. plan. I've, I've literally, thought, yeah, literally thought of everything. Tom tells me he doesn't want to lay on his back in the gravel, even though I've seen him do it before. So he, <laughs> he wants to put the banana on the other lift. Yeah, let's get that thing fired up and go okay. use it. Let's go do it. Okay, step one is to carelessly no. Yeah, this is okay. not a how-to, Matt. Okay. okay. Step one is to unsafely. Is somebody gonna test this to see if there's power in it or not? Like, do you have that? Oh, you want me to use this? Step one is to strip back the wires while Tom tests for power. We got nothing. Good. I turned it off. That was that was a test. Well, cutting up my car, then. Eh? Yep. You can have it. We'll buy you a brand new one. Yeah. I didn't take the end though. We are not electricians, nor do we pretend to be, and neither are you, so don't try this at home. Hazardous, chance of death. Imminent. Uh, ooh, wow. So the power is gonna be coming from above in the future. Hallelujah. Don't worry, he knows what he's doing. He hooked up our stereo, eh? I'm testing these, hang on. If the black and the white don't do anything Great like Scott. that. Yeah. No twitching, Matt didn't scream. It's not hooked up to anything yet. My voltmeter. My apologies to all electricians. Oh, that doesn't look good. There should already be a hole in here. There is, right? Yeah, okay. The thing is, is people who know what's going on here will be like, okay, I, I see what you did. You're not supposed to do that, but that worked. People that don't know are like, you wired it wrong. Lifts are DC current, idiot. It pulses back and forth. <laughs> Alternating. People that don't know are like, you wired it wrong. <laughs> Anything? Uh, yep, you got power on that one. Okay, and then let's check this one, which is actually this one right here. Yeah. No, it's, it's bouncing not. around. Yeah, you got power right there. Had it for a second. Okay, well, how come this isn't working? We found the problem. It's right here. Okay, now I got them both in there. Go for it. Okay. All right, we did all that so we can do this. Nice and sturdy. That's all it goes right there. That's Look at it. that. Okay, I'm gonna settle it down here. Let me settle Let it down. Let me get out. Box. Oh yeah. She's a workhorse, she is. I'm gonna measure up these parts right now on the banana. I can then draw them up on the computer and we can either cut them out at the arc droid or we can have Flog do it. All right, so. What Colin's going to be doing is prepping the unibody frame here for this cross member, and this gets welded in permanently. This is for the rear links to hook onto. So, so there. <laughs> Got it. Hey, Colin. We have to cut this down like this for a passage for the exhaust to get through. Does that make sense? Yeah, easy. And I'm just drawing basically how it goes. I wouldn't follow these lines, but you can if you want to. Okay, I know you don't care about Corvair stuff, but I'm gonna bore you anyways. I picked my 63 Spider up in San Diego when we went down and helped Donut get that big old Overlander unstuck. And 
it had a blue trail of smoke starting in San Diego and it didn't end till I got to Hurricane. And then it didn't even end then because I kept driving it around. But one day the blue smoke stopped and that was when I took the turbo off. And all I did was take the turbo off and put it on the shelf. Today I dug it out because I'm getting ready to rebuild it. And I went to spin it and look at that. Yeah, that's bad. You don't have to know anything about turbos. You just have to believe me, that is bad. And that's where all the oil was coming out and blowing out of there. So I've got to dig through my stuff and I can probably rebuild this core. I've got enough parts to do it. Maybe I should just rebuild this core. I'm going to make a decision on what I'm going to do. Alright, I got a bunch of turbo parts on another turbo core. So I think I'm going to try to make one good turbo out of these three things. Done with that, run the Schultzes and get a bunch more of those blades. Yeah. Well, I hope that did it. Dun dun dun! Claw hammer. What did I say? The right tool for the right job. So today, we're gonna be taking my Corvair. This is her. Say hello. I haven't named her yet. Do you want to plug in my battery? driving from South Dakota, I have to unplug the battery to get the fuel pump to stop. I have to do that on mine too. Is that just a Corvair thing? It's just a Corvair thing. <laughs> got going on here we're gonna be doing a little arc droiding we got some parts to cut out to make the braces for the control arms on the bottom of the banana clone it's just in time for us to not need those anymore then excellent so my plan is to reuse this piece and just put it back in the bottom of this Perfect. Now, we just gotta bend it and weld it in. Good enough. I'm all done drawing, all done programming this thing. I'm gonna hit go and we'll see if we get a good part. Oh, this is locked. We got a hole. We got two holes. Looking good. Alright. Look at that. That is a good looking part. I'm really happy with that. Oh wow. So, Colin, I thought we were building a banana clone. Colin thinks we're building something nice and precise. Let me go show this to Tom. What do you got? Those steels? Oh man. You think that looks strong? Yeah, that looks super good. I'm banana 2.0, that's what we're ending up with. All right, this particular cross member does not need to come out. It's welded in permanent. So, Colin, yeah. can you push up on this side right here? It ain't even hot. All right, 
Good morning, it's the next day. We're out here working in a new shop. It's got really good lighting and ventilation. <laughs> the temperature's even kind of decent. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is nice. So, Hefe and Jamie kicked the banana off the lift and they put the gladiator on here because they're installing these parts. And in case you don't remember, we are giving this gladiator away at the off-road games. It's gonna be awesome. We're installing a Dynatrack three inch lift so we can fit some bigger tires under this thing. So you can come do a trail ride with me. Why Jamie and I are doing it is because we don't know how to do custom lifts like Matt, but we can do bolt on with instructions. <laughs> and I'm the opposite. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to do with this. Actually, it's pretty cool. I just learned what this is. This is called a QR code <laughs> and it's magic. I'm gonna leave these two here to get this awesome lift kit installed on the Gladiator. I'm gonna go work with Tom on Dory the Jeep. Deja Blue! All right, so according to our mechanic, this is supposed to take seven and a half hours. What? How long do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready was, for that? I guess, let's go. Time starts now. Yeah. We're gonna remove the tires first. So I ran out, got my USB drive. I'd already programmed all this yesterday. Now I'm just getting it loaded in here. I'm about to hit the go button. It's go time. And then what are you doing? I am trying to sneak around and work on my Corvair stuff while everybody else is working on real stuff. You haven't been sneaking for the last few weeks, so why do you got to sneak I'm now? I'm sneaking today. Come here, let me show you. I have an elaborate plan. So I'm putting a whole new drivetrain in my Spider. I've got to pick out a new transaxle. And I've got a pile of them right here. And all of them look like good candidates. So I'm going to pull one of these out. I'm going to clean it up, disassemble it, inspect it, see if it's a good unit. If it is, then I'll bolt it to that new engine that I've been building. And I'll just drop one whole drivetrain out and put another whole drivetrain in. Super sneaky. This thing has never been off-road, unless you say this is off-road. <laughs> Old shocks. Old shocks are out. We're gonna leave them out for a second. I know the instructions say to put new ones in, but we've got to replace these springs and other things. Uh, run. Let's see if it'll run. Ah, we're working. Colin is a lucky kid to be able to weld in parts this nice. All right, so this is how they go right like that. It's gonna be strong. All right, check out the size difference between these. <laughs> We're just moving over the rubber pieces to make sure the ride is quiet. That goes right. We're waiting for Colin to get back here and start welding this. And while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna take this off and build a new front cross member for the front links to hook onto. From what I hear, working on an XJ is breaking off rusty bolts. I've never experienced it until I got this XJ, but here we are breaking them off. There's another one. Why don't you just put it on Titan and then they'll break faster. They're not even moving. There you go. Four broken bolts. Whoa, coming down. Ooh, I'm glad that came down that way. All the bolts are off. See that? Those broken bolts are of no concern to us because we weren't going to use them anyway. We're going to use a different system that works really well. They're going to fight it now, though. Somebody should have loaded those with anti-seize. You're gonna need a ball peen. Maybe. Is that bolt ripping through? Like I'm, <laughs> what's going on there? No, it's just this, the sleeves just stuck on the outside. These are, this is a transfer case drop kit. Yeah. Okay. How come those ones broke so nice and these ones are not? You just need me to hit them and not throw the hammer. An Olympic event. Okay, we got.
got the rear springs in, we're now going to put in the sway bar relocation. Okay, yep. <laughs> That's too many words. All right, now we're just getting the new track bar adjusted so we can get it in place and bolt it in. All right, Colin finally got done with whatever he was doing. Record things. And he's back. Let me show you what you're doing first. It's gonna be awesome. You got a, quite a bit of hole to fill right there, but you can do it. And then plug welds. It's gonna be awesome. All right, we got the sway bar all connected and the track bar done. We're gonna send this to an alignment shop after everything's said and done to make sure everything's square. So don't worry about that. Right now we're getting ready to put the shocks on. We're almost done with the rear end. Seven hours. <laughs> they ain't got nothing on us. I just got a call from Holly. She's looking for a 5 8 drill bit that's 14 inches long. And we don't have anything like that, but I do have a 5 8 inch drill bit and I do have plenty of bar. So we're gonna try and weld together a drill bit that's long enough that she can get in and drill out these bushings or whatever she's working on. I guess she jumped her Jeep and broke like the 9 16th bushings. So she's going up a size. This is my setup right here. I found a piece of material I could use as a scrap and I can butt it up against it. And I'm gonna weld the drill bit right to that so it doesn't like try to bend when I weld on it. My drill bit is complete. Check it out. Holly showed up. I've got her drill bit right here. Yes. There you go. Hope Thank that you. works amazing for you. It's so hot. No, I'm joking. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. That's going to be absolutely perfect. So thank you so much. Good luck. You saved the day. You're beefing up the race Jeep. Is we that what are you're doing? Five eighths instead of nine sixteenths. It's going to be thank tough. Goodness. All right, we're back from lunch. Things have been crazy. I guess Tom's been working nonstop all the way through lunch. There's stuff going on the Gladiator. There's stuff going on Dory here. It's uh, it's a madhouse. So the weather has changed and it's a little bit chilly. So we got to get right on this front end and get it done quick. Good thing the back only took an hour. I think we can get this done just as quick. Let me get one or two more twists on this. Okay, uh, you good? Okay, Jamie, you want to put your new one on? Right. How far into your seven hours are you? Uh, an hour and 30 minutes. How far are you from being well, we done? Got, we got serious backup right now. So we got Holly. Holly and Batty showed up to help us out. Sorry. So is the rear completely done? Rear is completely done. All right. Well, I hope it doesn't rain on you. <laughs> there is a snowstorm right there. Wait, really? Oh, yep. Yeah, that's where it comes in from right there. It's glorious. Matt had to go do some important math stuff, so he left me in charge, and I'm telling Jake to just weld these up because Colin's not here. That's right. I'm the Colin right now. We're going to weld those up real fast. He's calling the shots. So I just got to tack these nuts onto this plate and I wasn't sure what Matt was had envisioned at first. So I was like, how's that going to work? And now I understand. So he can mount this up like that. We're going to tack it in here and then that way you can still screw your bolts in. That's pretty cool. And I didn't weld the bolts to it. So I'm proud of that. This isn't anything special, but I'm just glad I get to help and this is fun. finished up now we're gonna put the wheels on and take it for an alignment I thought you were gonna say spin but a spin we're taking it for a spin to the alignment shop <laughs> oh yeah that's awesome <laughs> that looks good that looks good already yeah that looks that needs a bigger tire put under there even with those it looks amazing yeah that's awesome. I mean you'd be able to flex the days 
<laughs> this was the first of many upgrades. When we get the wheels and tires on this, this lift is going to absolutely pop. For those of you that don't know, we are giving this Gladiator away at the Off-Road Games in March. It's going to be awesome. You have to be present to win, so go get your tickets at offroadgames.com. All right, we're going to take this to the alignment shop to make sure it's roadworthy. We're putting a tarp on the tangerine. And what advice did your father give you? Make sure the wind can't blow it off. Uh, close enough. <laughs> Look at the wheel. Look at the steering wheel. <laughs> Definitely needs an alignment. We'll get that taken care of. So I think we need to run a ratchet from here, Rhett, around to the side and down to the something on the, on the bottom, and then do the same thing to the back. It'll hold it down. Do we have straps? No. Nah. Well, we don't have any small straps. We have big, massive ones. And we only have like one of those. Okay, let's go find some straps. These will work. They're a little bit big, but we'll make them do. Whoa. I love that. Now we just do the back. You got enough? You're hooked. I think it's perfect. I like that. Look what we made. This is where it goes. There's more parts to it, it holds but not up yet. This piece. Yes. Okay, that's going to be the tack, I think. All right. We get around the hood. So remember, if it looks like we don't know what we're doing, know that we did this at least one time before, and it's working. And we knew less than than we know now. This one's better than ever. Yes. We just picked up the Gladiator from Hurricane Tire Pros, and we're gonna see if the steering wheel's fixed. So far, it seems to be driving good. We haven't even pulled out of the parking lot yet, Hefe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still waiting. Traffic <laughs> is getting crazy. Well, the steering wheel's straight. That's a bonus. <laughs> Perfect. All right, it is that time. It's the end of the day, so we're gonna have to leave you for now, but we're gonna be back like... All right, we're back. At least I am anyway, so I'm gonna get to work. So my dad's got some stuff going on today, so me and Tom are gonna be in the shop fixing things up, welding things up, making things up as we go. We're making this up. We have no idea what we're doing. We're just gonna continue building in here. We got a couple of uh, extra braces to add on to these cross members, so we're gonna keep doing that. I'll be back. These are the right glasses for that, aren't they? they? Are. Are they you look more like Wonka. Dude. More like Willy Wonka? Like, <laughs> you ready? Yep, I'm good. Okay. okay. So, camera was off, but we just pulled out the cross member. Came out perfectly. Um, I got some plug welds I got to do on that, and then I've got a plug weld here and a plug weld on the other side, and then it'll be done. That fitting? Yep. Mine's right in. I don't know if I should tighten this up all the way. I feel like it's going to come out again oh, it before will. it is all done. We do things right because we do things twice. Well, this is coming right along. There is a lot of work left to do, but that'll be next week. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Woo! Say it's hot. Say it was warm. Not gonna say it. I need you to say it. Not gonna say it.